A new poll from The Economist and YouGov out this week once again shows that Senator Bernie Sanders is the most popular politician in the United States with the highest favorability rating. Uh, he managed to get 49% of the public saying that they either strongly or somewhat uh, have a favor, uh, favorable view of Senator Bernie Sanders that actually puts him ahead of even Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Now we have seen these polls come out time after time, year after year for the last few years, showing every time Bernie Sanders ranks the highest among favorability. And I think any politician that doesn't learn the lesson from this doesn't even deserve to be in politics anymore. I mean, it's quite obvious to anyone who's been paying attention, why Sanders consistently ranks at the top. And it's because Bernie Sanders is clearly fighting for average Americans. That's it. I mean, really that's the bottom line here. That is what Bernie Sanders does. That is what he has always done. And it's what he is going to continue to do for as long as he is physically capable of doing it. And the public understands that and they recognize it. The only unfortunate problem is that both times he has run for president, he has been up against a democratic establishment that does not like him. And to be honest, that's another reason why he has such high favorability, not because the Democrats don't like him, but because of the reason they don't like him. And it's because Bernie Sanders is not afraid to go up against Democrats or Republicans. He's not tribal which believe it or not, folks, most Americans are also not tribal. Bernie Sanders sees a goal, sees something that needs to happen and he fights for it. And he'll fight anyone who stands in his way, whether it's a Democrat or a Republican, he will unite with people to get these things done whenever he can. And yeah, I know a lot of people in the establishment don't like his ideas because they say they're just too pie in the sky. We can't do it. It would cause a, you know, catastrophe if we suddenly nationalized the healthcare industry and had universal healthcare. We just can't do it. Well, actually we can. Other countries have done it. There's literally no reason why we can't. And they want to talk about the cost and every study that's looked at it says, well, it actually saves us more money than it costs us. So it really is a win-win for everybody but they say, well, it's too much money to get it off the ground. Well, maybe then don't spend $740 billion every 12 months on our military. We could cut that in half and still be spending more than every other country on the planet. We're going to be okay in that regard. I mean, stories came out just this week talking about all that money we spent for the F 35s only to find out, oops, the plane doesn't work. There goes billions and billions of dollars down the drain that we never get back. And we get nothing for it. And all Bernie Sanders says is that instead of doing stupid things like that, what if we put that money towards getting people to the doctor? What if we put it towards getting rid of student loan payments? What if we put it to making colleges free? Hell, what if we just put it towards increasing the minimum wage or improving the infrastructure or doing things that actually benefit most Americans? That's why Bernie Sanders is popular. If these politicians in DC actually took the time to look at this, to read this, to understand it, we'd have a lot more Bernie Sanders out there. They wouldn't be as genuine as the original, but hell, maybe at that point, we'd actually see some progress here in this country.